You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another friendly episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. Excited to be here with you today and very thankful that you spent a few minutes of your day with us and uh, we aim to get you some information that will be helpful to whatever it is you want to do with your drone or drones. And we are also grateful for the opportunity to make someone's day or provide practical and insightful information to make navigating this market even easier. If you have a question, ask droneu.com, send it in. And uh, very grateful for today's question from our good friend, Justin here, who's listening to our shows from his hospital bed. And uh, in all honesty, I'm grateful for you, sir. I'm grateful that we can help uh, inspire you and that we can help, you know, um, distract you and give you information to help push you through hard times and push you through good times. So we appreciate the opportunity to honestly help you out, man. So thank you. Yeah, for sure. Most definitely. Before we get into today's question, uh, our sponsor for today for today is the Drone You community. Are you thinking about wanting to gain confidence in flight? Do you want to go above and beyond flight school because you know a driver's license never made you a good driver, but rather it was driver's ed that made you a decent driver at least? Maybe if you went to the BMW driving school, well, that probably made you a better driver. Well, if you want to be a phenomenal pilot and you want to have the confidence to not only go out and get clients, but the confidence to follow through and be able to get the smooth, complex shots that will pay the bills, and you've got to become a drone you member. If you've ever gotten good, insightful information and you want to help us out, you can become a member. Honestly, for 50 bucks a month, you can't find more technical and comprehensive drone based courses anywhere on the internet, let alone a, a university. So if you're ready to learn the most practical information to get the confidence to pay the bills, then you've got to check out drone you go to the drone and become a member today. Hello, Rob and Paul. Justin Collin here from Vermont. Uh, First and foremost, I'd like to thank both of you for everything that you do for everybody commercially and recreationally and everywhere in between. I know with the drone industry as it is today, it's very hard to predict what it's going to be like tomorrow, never mind months from now. My question for you today is... um, With the equipment that I have, and I will state what those are, currently I have a Phantom 4 Original, a Mini 2, and the Mavic 2 Pro. Where do you think those will be in as far as getting jobs in the commercial industry for 107 holder? The only downside to... My holdup right now is I was plagued by a you know terrible car accident and I was uh, hit by somebody that had stolen a vehicle and hit me and and therefore I you know have to go in for major back surgery and I'm in pretty bad shape right now but hopefully when I'm back up on my feet, I'm just wondering if my drones will be relevant for the drone industry. Thank you both for everything that you do. And I listen to your podcasts every day in the hospital, so you're keeping me strong. Thank you very much, and keep going. Thank you, Justin. Appreciate the uh, the time you took to call in your question very, very much, and uh, we are certainly... Hoping and praying for a quick recovery for you. Man, you just never know what life is going to bring us. But in terms of trying to help him with uh, his current drone set, um, there's some stuff that he can do with what he's got, right? Yeah, you know, this brings up a really uh, important point, a really um, a divergence, a bifurcation going on in the industry right now, which is, you know, DJI wants everyone to move on from the Phantom 4s and the Mavic 2 Pros, but when they don't provide a practical and simple and reliable SDK, These third-party apps that many people rely on to get niche jobs done, 
These apps that many large-scale drone service providers rely on to scale drone jobs simply doesn't work on these new drones. And so even when we recently did jobs for some of these large-scale DSPs, you, you couldn't get them done with a Mavic 3 Enterprise. You know, we tried uh, using drone deploy on it. It bricked the drone, had to fl- reflash it. Tried using Pix4D, same thing. Um, dr- uh, was it Drone Link is the only one that works right now. And it works actually fairly well. So kudos to whoever whoever they're brown nosing in DJI. It's clearly, clearly working. <laughs> I say that tongue in cheek. So good job, Drone Link. Um, but that said, a lot of these DSPs simply can't use these newer drones. So the opportunity for to work with large scale DSPs is still very real if you're flying a Phantom 4 Pro version 2, a Phantom 4 Pro, a Mavic 2 Pro. In fact, we literally tried doing these jobs for these DSPs with a Mavic 3 Enterprise. You couldn't do it. I had to pull my Mavic 2 Pro out to even get the job done. So that said, I think the opportunities are huge. Uh, And normally we do not do this on a show, Justin, but we're going to do it for you, buddy, because hearing that you're in the hospital right now, you're probably out at this point, hopefully. Um, And when you hear this show, I hope that you use this information to reach out to these people because you can get real jobs that pay very well right now. And so I want you to look at companies like Fly Guys, I want you to look at companies like Drone Bros. I want you to look at companies like 5x5.ai. That's 5x5.ai. Cyberhawk is another one. Gosh, there's so many now. I'm trying to remember all the names because now the names are getting a little wonky since all the good names have been taken. (laughs) Um, Yeah, and there are a few that are doing good things that are a little bit more obscure. They don't have the marketing acumen or whatever that like a Fly Guys does or the VC money that... A fly guys does. So. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I'm excited to see what Fly Guys uh, does because what they're creating is an all in all end to end automated solution is really cool. Mm-hmm. But that said, honestly, Justin, I would argue that the scalable opportunities are most easily acquired with the drones that you have. You may feel like they're out of date. They're really not that out of date. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Even when we go out uh, and do certain action sports things, like Rob and I have something cooking up our sleeve. I still love my Phantom over most of the common solutions because in order to do like fly around moving objects, you really need attitude mode to make it nice, beautiful and smooth. And then with these new enterprise drones, you get a drone with attitude mode and it doesn't have all the the nice filming frame rates that you want, whether it's 60 frames, 120 frames per second, you can't do any of it. And so... I, I still love my Phantom. I uh, made a lot of money on just a Phantom. A lot of people are like, what did you build your drone business outside of drone you? All those drone jobs you did. Phantom 4 Pro, man. Like, it, mm-hmm. it's stupid how much you can do with it. And the only real accessory that you need is a Colorado drone chargers charger and an ND filter. Yep. <laughs> That's all you need, man. And a nice backpack from GPC. And so. uh, on the on the older ones, what was it? The Phantom Three, a lens hood. <laughs> ah, the lens hood. Gosh, we oh, should have that patented that. We'd be billionaires right now. So. I don't know about that. <laughs> they make it on every single DJI FPV and every single Avada. So yeah, we should just sue DJI like uh, uh, Textron did, and then they can just write our retirement. So. Yeah, we'll just keep working hard and taking good education to the people. Yeah, I'd rather That's another rather make money helping people than yeah. Yeah, than being a part of the problem. So anyway, um, honestly, Justin, the future is bright for you. I'd reach out to those companies if I were you. Um, some skills that are going to be important is manually flying orbits. It's going to be mission planning, uh, and it's going to be, you know, keep flying, keep flying, keep flying. No matter where you're limited to, keep flying. It's possible. Make it possible. And uh, uh, Justin, I just, I really appreciate you listening to us in hard times. And I hope that no matter what, you persevere and you keep going, man. Because honestly, all it takes is a little bit of effort every day. So on that note, thank you very much for the opportunity to help. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us. And if you have a question like Justin did, ask DroneU.com. We would love to hear from you. Definitely. Thanks again, everyone from DroneU Studios in lovely Loveland. (laughs) See you later. (laughs) 